In this video, we're going to take a look at using the TI-84 graphing calculator to calculate the confidence level multiplier. And I'm going to go back to a previous example that we looked at in another video, which is uh, dealing with the confidence interval for two independent groups. In other words, looking at the difference between two population means or the confidence interval for the difference of the two population means. So before I get going on this, we're going to have to look back at that example and get some of the information in order to use the calculator to find that confidence level multiplier. So if we go back to the previous example, uh, we, we found the confidence level multiplier of 2.447 by looking it up in the T table. Now we're going to take a look at how we do that with the graphing calculator. So there's two things that we need to know. We need to know what the alpha over 2 value is, and we need to know what the degrees of freedom are. So we're doing a 95% confidence interval, which means there's 5% left over to be shared with each of the tails. We have 0.025 for each of the tails. That's going to be our alpha over 2 value. And then we have to calculate our degrees of freedom, which I use the more conservative method to calculate our degrees of freedom, which was the minimum of the degrees of freedom from group one and group two. And that happened to be six. So we need this value of six and we need this value of 0.025 in order to use that function on the calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. To get to the, um, the confidence level multiplier function, we're going to have to use the distribution menu. So we'll go to second and bears to get to the distribution menu. And if you go down to option four, you're going to see the inverse T function. Now, if you have an older TI-84 or an older TI-83, that function may not be on your calculator. So once we have that selected, I'll go ahead and hit enter. It's going to ask for the area. This is that alpha over 2 value that I was talking about. Now, I'm going to use the value of 0 0.025. In this function right here, it uses the cumulative area. So it's looking at the area from the left of the distribution up to that uh, stopping point at 0 0.025 for the area. So this is going to end up giving us the negative confidence level multiplier. If we wanted the positive confidence level multiplier, we'd have to use 0 0.975. That would be the cumulative area from the left up to that up the beginning of that upper tail. The next thing that we have to put in are our degrees of freedom, which are six. And we'll go down to enter and hit paste. And it says inverse T, it gives us the area, it gives us the six degrees of freedom. When we hit enter, it's gonna take a minute to calculate and it'll give us the negative confidence level multiplier, which it gives negative 2.4469 or negative 2.447, which is what we looked up in the table for that same problem with the same degrees of freedom and everything else. 